Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Warming up by the fire. Yep. Good morning, Abby. Good morning. <laughs> You've been enjoying the snow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the homestead. I am in the greenhouse today, just about ready to see if we have any sprouts growing under our little covers that we have in here. But I'm waiting for Esther Pie to finish breakfast because she wanted to take a peek at those with me. So while I'm waiting for her, I just wanted to share a little bit about our week last week. We got a big snow, one of the biggest snowstorms that we've had in a long time. So it's been cold, but so, so beautiful. I just love being able to be inside where it's warm and look out the windows at all the beauty of the snow. I love the little birds that come out even when it's super, super cold. Um, they're so fun to watch. Such beautiful little sounds that they make. Uh, the children have had a blast playing and just enjoying themselves. I've tried to give them a little bit more freedom this week to just enjoy the snow because we don't get snow very often. in the snow? Yeah. Are you cold? No. No, you got a nice new snowsuit, huh? Can you say and thank gloves. And gloves. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Girls having fun out there? Yeah. <laughs> it's been snowing all day, piling higher and higher. So fun. The new snowsuits have been a huge blessing, so thank you. They're 2T and they fit both our two-year-old and our five-year-old. Of course, the two-year-old's a little bit um, buried in it. <laughs> You too, Naomi. Here. <laughs> Having fun, Abby? Yeah. Get <laughs> a little face, it's all hidden in there. <laughs> Pretty deep for you, huh? I think one of the highlights for them was when Kip took them all around our pasture in circles on a kayak connected to a rope. They tied a really thick sturdy rope around the hitch of Kip's truck, attached Caleb's kayak to it, and then Kip took them around the pasture. They absolutely, absolutely loved it. I'm getting dripped on here. <laughs> 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 Fun middle. Going down the hill. They're just running in the track right now. <laughs> it's sideways. Oh, it's getting out. <laughs> Going a little faster. Oh boy. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Chase fell off. So no, the Biddle's getting pounded in the face, Nate. She should have taken my glasses. Look at her. Biddle, Mary, tell us if you want us to stop. <laughs> I think now he's taking the brunt of it. I know, I'll do it. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. She wants to go a little bit slower, Biddle does. Look at her, she's like... Scout. Scout looks like he's excited about it. It's definitely been too cold for our compost to heat up, so we have not turned our Berkeley compost heap yet. Unfortunately, we did put some quite frozen cow manure, and I also learned that the chicken manure that went in was quite frozen as well. So unfortunately that heap is going to take some time <laughs> to heat up, but it's not going anywhere and it will eventually heat up. So if you missed the video that we did, check it out. Last week we started a Berkeley compost heap. It's supposed to take 18 days, but given that we started it in winter and probably our coldest week in winter, <laughs> we're going to need to give it some more time before we start turning it. All right, Esther Pye made it in, so we're just about to check on our sprouts, but I did want to also answer a question about the sweet potatoes start that I mentioned we have going in our windowsill above our kitchen sink. That's something I've done for years now, and no, we don't plant sweet potato plants until May um, here in Zone 6, Missouri. However, we do start the slips in January. So what a slip is, it's, it's an already started sweet potato plant with a good root system on it. And that's what we plant in May. So it takes a while for those plants to get going. We do have one little start that's about an inch tall. And that's from our purple sweet potatoes that sprout really, really well. But other ones, like our Mirasaki sweet potatoes, they have not started sprouting at all. Nothing on them yet. So anyway, uh, once those plants get to be a few inches tall, I just break them off of the potato and then stick them in a jar of water. And they can stay in that jar of water for a very long time until all danger of frost is gone and we can then put them out in the garden. All right, Esther Pie, you want to lift the lid for the big reveal? <laughs> Have anything in here yet? There's a little bit of sprouts right here. Oh, yay. that looks like a tatsoi. Little teeny tiny. Right there. There it is, a little baby tatsoi. And there's another one right there, but. And looks like that's about it for this one. All right, next one. Ooh, this is the lettuce one. We have a bunch of little yep. lettuce, lettuce starts. Yay. Back here too. And there. That is so there. fun. It's hard to see them on camera. They're just so tiny and cute. Yeah, they're all over there. I can though. zoom in here. There they are, little baby lettuce plants. <laughs> so fun. Yeah, so they're on this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. So about and five or one. six have sprouted so far of the lettuce? Six, yeah. Cool. Oh, wait. Maybe seven. That might be Maybe just seven. There. Very exciting. Doesn't look like the peas have started yet. Okay, and now these are Esther's starts over here. <gasps> oh, it. she has a pea! Hooray! And there's a little hump there. This one might be coming up. Yay! That's a drop-proof Wando pea. I think that was from some gifted seeds that you got, huh? Mm -hmm. Lots of people have gifted you seeds and that's been so fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> has anything else sprouted over here? I don't your think spot? So. Alright, nothing else yet. Nope, well that's yet. exciting, our first few sprouts, hooray! <laughs> so when we started these seedlings last week, we mentioned that we put these domes over. And I forgot to say that actually between the domes and being in this greenhouse, um, it stays probably 20 degrees warmer where the seedlings are. So even though it's way below freezing outside, they don't get to freezing in here. And um, it's obviously gotten warm enough for some of them to start germinating. So the reason we start them so early 
is because it does warm up really, I keep getting dripped on, it does warm up really fast for us come April, end of April and early May. And if we don't start some of these plants early enough, it gets way too hot for them to reach maturity. So that's one of the big reasons I start them early in the greenhouse here. You could start them inside, but it is so dry in our house and we have very little space where there's good sunlight where we can actually set trays. So it just works best out here in the greenhouse with the covers, the dome covers on. And the other reason that we've started them this early is that a lot of the perennial flowers need a certain amount of very low temperatures before the seeds will start to germinate. It's called cold stratification and if the seeds don't get enough cold they just won't germinate at all. So putting them out here allows them to get cold enough. We've also got the, some of them in jugs that go outside. I just brought them in because it got extremely cold one night but we're going to put these back outside and that will allow those particular seeds that need that cold stratification time um, to get cold so that then they'll actually germinate. And then also by January and early February uh, we were just so ready to get our hands in the dirt again. <laughs> so it's fun to be able to start these seeds early like this. I'm really thankful for this little greenhouse space that we have right now. It's been a blessing. You can see it stays warm enough in here all winter long for this um, wild apple mint and it grows all winter long. And then this is, I believe is some phlox that um, self-seeded and I dug it up and brought it into the greenhouse so that it would survive the winter too and I'll transplant it out in the spring. And then of course the cold hardy kale is doing just fine in here. This particular variety is called um, Red Russian or Ragged Jack Kale and it does fine in the greenhouse, no problem. This big water tank is a big reason why it stays warmer in here. It's a 1500 gallon rainwater catchment tank and it's painted a sort of dark gray so it captures the heat of the sun during the day and then helps keep the whole greenhouse a little bit warmer at night. We decided to just take the covers off for today because it's a pretty warm day. That way all the plants can breathe and get more sunshine. Thanks for doing that, sweetie. You're welcome. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> we've been testing out the root cellar. Finally got these shelves, so we've been storing some, uh, we've got some cabbage and beets, carrots, some ferments, uh, various other things, and and you can see it did get down to freezing right at 32 um, was the low, but that's the lowest I've seen in here ever since I put this thermometer in here and we started storing the food. So even though the wall is frozen in parts, of, in some areas um, where it's exposed to the outside, uh, it still is staying warm enough in here. I've got this whole box of onions here that are looking great. So this is really exciting to me. We've even had down in the um, single digits and it still did not get below 32 here in, a, in our root cellar. Um, for those who don't know, only half of the root cellar is buried. Uh, we hit bedrock so we could only go down halfway. The other half is above ground and eventually we're going to actually put a patio cover over the whole thing so that will help it be a little bit cooler in the summertime. It will provide shade in the summertime. Hopefully it won't affect the temperature in the winter time once we have that cover on. Um, we won't know until we can test it out but at least for now everything is doing great in here and we're able to have a lot of extra space now for food storage so it's a huge blessing. So my favorite thing about the snow is riding outside in the pasture on the cave with Daddy and playing outside in the snow with Eddie. <laughs> Making slides for her. Yeah, that was fun, huh? I'm always thinking about all the stuff. My favorite thing was being pulled around on the kayak behind Daddy's truck. <laughs> okay, what was your second favorite thing? Um, uh, playing in the snow. Just playing, huh? Mm -hmm. I saw you just crawling around all over the place out there. Yep. I like, I also like playing down the bear. Oh. <laughs> Fun. Hey Nady, what's been your favorite thing about the snow this last week? 
while probably being pulled around in a kayak around the pasture by daddy's truck. <laughs> yep. That seems to be the common answer of this, for this question. <laughs> How about you, Caleb? You didn't get on the kayak, but mm -mm. what was your favorite part about the snow? Well, I just love how beautiful it is and how pretty it is. And yeah, it's just really cool seeing Yas creation. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> hey, Josh. Came out here to see what's sprouting. Yep. <laughs> well, cool. I have a question for you. What has been your favorite thing about the snow this week? Probably the beauty and also getting to ride around behind the truck in the <laughs> canoe. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> is that your favorite part of the snow as well, Esther? Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys did some sledding, huh? Mm -hmm, that was fun too. That was fun. We There's... sledded on our, solidus, our big solder snow and on our bellies and our backs and stuff. <laughs> right. We don't really have a regular snow, snow sled because we hardly ever get snow like this, but they use the sawdust shovel. I wish I could have gotten that on video. Maybe later yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> Are any of you starting seeds where you're at? If so, please share what you're growing in the comments below. Thanks for joining us in the greenhouse again today. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs>